All right, let's do this. I want to try something different this time. Uh, this is going to be my first time trying it. So I hope it goes well. Right off the back, starting with 12 gold. Hmm. I have two options. The first option that I want to... Ooh, actually, I was going to go for torch, burning torch, and then the, uh, the burning sword. But I've never used Molten Spear as a starter before. But it could work. Um, every time I see a Molten Spear at the start of the game, I die. So <laughs> we could try it out and see how well it goes. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Boom. Um, I also wanted to do the Spike Shield combo since we do have a Walrus Tusk on sale. So I figured... Might as well use it, right? Let's do a little something like this. Maybe. Maybe not. How are we going to fit the uh, the shield situation in there and still get a combination off? Ooh. Because these two need to be touching. That's the issue. I could put a shield here. But then I won't have my sword. It'll probably be worth it. Honestly, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it'll probably just be worth doing in general. Anyways, um, until we get what we really need, right? So, yeah, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it. Get that combination. Not going to use the sword. And we'll do that for the Molten Spear. And we'll just roll with this. Um, contemplating getting the banana, because when it comes to the Pyromancer, I feel like having two bananas is pretty solid. Going against a Berserker. Putting on a lot of damage on him at the beginning of the game here. Ooh, we took home that W. Let's go. That was a really nice W. I wasn't expecting to win the first round, honestly. I'm glad I did, though. So now we got the spike shield, which is great. We can put the flame in front of you, or we could just turn you sideways. Do a little situation like that. Definitely want to get this whetstone as well. I'm going to go ahead and get you. Okay, awesome. Got my space. We could do this um, and probably get the lump of coal just to turn into a burning torch. Now, what I want to do here is ultimately I want a steel goober. That's what I ultimately want. So I can honestly just do something like this. Um, but yeah, I ultimately want a steel goober. Um, so which means I'm not going to turn this into a torch or just going to go burning coal. And then hopefully we can get another whetstone, get ourselves a still goober, and then we'll just go from there. And we also need activators for the still goober, so we should probably start investing into some form of food more than likely. Because that would probably be great. Good win. And we also need some form of heat generation too. Um, because this thing is going to be eating up heat, right? Which is good because it, you know, the additional damage, but it's also bad if we don't have the heat in order to feed it heat, right? Okay, got the other wet stone. So that's great. Some more space is awesome. A flute on sale. I could use the flute on sale for stamina. Technically. Um, as much as I wanted, I also feel like it would be useless because the end build that we're planning on having doesn't really rely on stamina like that. That's the thing. So I might not even get this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on it. I think I'm gonna pass on it. Um, is there a way for me to make this a little bit better to fit more star slots in there? I mean, you're only destroying five shield for each fire weapon. So I don't think it's gonna be that big of an issue for now. Maybe later in the game, it'll be a big issue. But for now, I think we'll be fine. Also, I could honestly just not do this combination because having it like this is a little bit better versus just having the, the stone sword until we manage to get ourselves the goober and then we want to switch. I'm going to go ahead and get me a garlic because we're going to need activators in general anyways. Another whetstone. Hmm. That is interesting. Actually, I kind of want to keep my fire items in heat inside of the uh, fire pit. So I should move this back by two and they put all the fire items in front of it. And I can also move my uh, my sword over over there as well. Somewhere like this, which honestly might not be the best place because my shield has to go somewhere, right? But I guess it could go in there and then we could use like this potentially.
Yeah, until we get more space and then we can move this out. But this will be fine. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Um, and I'm just gonna buy a stone just to buy it because it's there. White stone, another white stone is interesting, but I don't think I'm a, I don't think I'm gonna use it. Realistically, what I would like to do with that Wessel, honestly, is to have a second wooden sword. And that way we can use one of these stone swords for the steel goober. And then the other stone sword could be a burning sword. Uh, just for being a burning sword, essentially, right? But yeah, this build is... Not build, but this weapon is actually really, really nice. It does a decent amount of damage already. And then it just does more, eating up your heat, which is nice. Let's get both of those. Ooh, we got a heat generator, which is great. I'm also going to get the stamina sack. I did run out of stamina right then, though. So investing into this banana might not be a horrible play, honestly. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Get the banana. Um, we can honestly just take this down, do a little situation like that. And do that. I forgot I could put that inside the weapon, actually. Never mind. We can just do this. Yeah, that works for me. I like that. That works for me. Wow. What round are we on? <laughs> You're gonna get double dragon scale armor? I don't even know what round we are on, but it's early. It's it's pretty freaking early to get double dragon scale armor, bro. Wow. You go. Good game, though. Right. Let's get... Uh, how much? Oh, we only got 10 gold. Man, uh, we got a little bit of options here because getting this holy armor would be great. Truthfully, getting the holy armor would be great because we're going to need it for sun armor. But we also need space. Um, hmm. But I definitely want to get this chili. For sure, I want to get the chili. Okay. I think I get this holy armor. It's a little early. It's a lot of money, though. We only get 11 next round, which is the problem. Might not even be able to get it next round. I do want to save it, though. If we can't get it next round, we'll get it in the round, before, the round after. <laughs> But I definitely want to get it because sun armor is good in general, right? So definitely want to get me some sun armor. Going against a reaper. Going for a pandanomium. I'm glad I met you now versus later when you had your pandanomium. So that's great. I think we just win because we just out DPS, truthfully. I'm sad I haven't found another goober or not another one, but I'm sad I haven't found a goober in general. Okay, we got a thorn whip though. Now, our build is going to essentially revolve around Thorn Whip. Um, or rather the fire, the, uh, the, the, the flame whip, rather. Hmm. Honestly, that might not be a horrible, well, the stamina to one a second. This is probably one a second too. I was 0.9, but still. It deals plus eight damage. The max amount of thorns we're gonna have right now is three because of the spike shield, but this one's only plus five damage, which is gonna be 14, which this one does six to 10 by default. And we still kind of don't have our steel gooberts. I'm gonna buy it though, cause it's on sale. Okay, there's the goobert. We can get this combination. Um. The upcoming rounds are going to be really interesting for us. Because theoretically speaking, what we could do is we can sell the Molten Spear now. Use the Thorn Whip, get a combination off on a Thorn Whip so, while also getting a combination off on a Sword. Next round, we can get a combination off on the Goobert. Because we'll then make it into a Steel Goobert. And then we could just buy Holy Spirit around after. We have options we have options i think that's what we'll do we might lose the next two three rounds because of this hopefully not obviously but you know it could definitely happen um so let's go ahead and buy you i'm gonna move you up by two can i fit you somehow in a way that's better than that something like this will work I'll move you over and do that 
There we go. Let's get a flame whip in there. Um, probably move the food like this to fit all the flame items in there. Honestly, I could just sell the stone and buy the goober now. Hmm. We might even be able to get some activations off on the goober too for healing. So that wouldn't be horrible. We could put it... Honestly, putting it there might not be bad. And then let's go with garlic and you. Make sure not to turn into a chili goober though. It's a lot less flame initially, but I don't think it'll be horrible. I'm gonna go with something like this. See how this goes. Interesting, okay. Going against just a broom? That's very fascinating. Um, I say we win this. Our heat generation is better. Well, no, it's not actually. They have two chilies, so there's that. But our DPS should be better. Besides the fact that we're running out of stamina, that's gonna be an issue. But our thumb whip does do a lot of damage. Plus, we got five, four spikes, so each time they hit us, they're actually dealing the exact same amount of damage back to themselves, which is a thing. He's also got Shield of Valor, though. That's going to be a little bit annoying. I feel like Spikes is going to be really important for us right here. But our stamina sucks. So if we do die, it'll be due to stamina. Come on. Ah, oh, three. He just healed better. He just healed better. That's fine, though. That's fine. We'll, we'll take those L's. That's perfectly fine with me. So boom. Now we have Flame Whip. I'm going to get Cairo Mance for here. Uh, what are we at? 10 gold. Okay, we might be selling some heats here in order to get this holy armor. Potentially. But I want to go ahead and turn you into a steel goober. Um, Seven heat gain, inflict two cold. Um, We need some pineapples. Actually, no. We could utilize the degen lamp. Because that'll just give us infinite spikes which we can just feed back into the flame whip versus having a pineapple, which is every 3.5 seconds, I believe, versus every two seconds. Even though this will give us clover and mana. You know what I mean? As Well, maybe it's not. I don't know. If we're not going against something that's removing buffs, maybe we'll be fine. We just need this to generate spikes and not generate clovers or mana, which it will generate clovers and mana. But since this is always using up our spikes, hopefully spikes is the least amounts of buffs that we have, and this will always just generate spikes. Unless we go against a build that removes buffs. And then we're fucked. You know, maybe having one pineapple can help against that, but I do want to get this because this is technically, I believe, the fastest spike generator. That's not a weapon. Um, but yeah, we'll go with that. Um, I think I keep this situation the same. Actually, I could buy it now. And I could use it as an activator on the Goobert as well. And I could use it to feed the flame spikes now. Huh. I think I do that. Yeah. Yeah, I think I do that. Let's sell you just to buy the DJ lamp. How much gold do we get next round? 12? Okay. That's going to get a combination. We'll probably sell some food and such, but I do want to get this holy armor. I don't like it just sitting in the shop like that. So, yeah. Go with something like this. Yeah. I think it's fine. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. What? They're going with double Falcon Blade and a Carrot Goober. <laughs> It's like the OG Falcon Blade Carrier Guru build back in the day. Wow. That's kind of cool, though, honestly. But you see it working, right? DJ Lamp is uh, generating the spikes. We're doing the damage. One more hit in. Well, two. There we go. You're dead. But it worked perfectly. They didn't have anything removing buffs, which we generated the mana and the luck. And then spikes was just infinite at that point. So we got our Steel Goobert now, which is wonderful. Um, damn. 
Should I just get space? I don't know. Because I could do a little situation like this. Uh, but we also need the spikes from the shield. Like that. I think we get space. I'm going to get space. I'm going to hold off on you for now. Unless I find you on sale. Which that would be great. A Jakunic Orb? I'm gonna sell the chili for the Jakunic Orb, I think. Just because we don't really need the chili, because our heat generation is gonna come from the flame whip, because this gains four flame. Versus the chili gains, what, one every five seconds? So most of our heat generation is coming from the flame whip, so the chili doesn't really matter. At that point, the chili just removes a debuff from us. Which isn't like horrible or anything, but yeah. Okay, so we're here. Alright. Let's see what happens now. Oh, wow. Burning banner on a fencing fencing rapier. This is going to be scary, especially because burning banner removes two buffs from us. Which more than likely is going to remove uh, the mana, which means you have to generate the mana back, which is going to be annoying. Very annoying. But maybe we'll be okay. Nah. We're getting close. They're going to proc their. They're going to proc the crown though. Yeah, they're going to proc the crown. That's going to be game. Yep, that's game. That's game right there. One more hit and we're dead. Yep. Good game, though. That was a good game. Um, Let's see. Box of Riches would be interesting. Um. Okay. I think I'm going to do it. I don't really need this garlic. I want to keep the banana though. I'm gonna sell the garlic. Sell two heats. I'm just gonna get this now. We got four health. We have, we have room. Okay, we have room to take L's. I'm gonna do that. Um, we're gonna get the mana orb as well. Um, And we'll keep it like this. Sun armor should help us a lot next round, I think. Mana torch and a mana thirst. Nothing that removes buffs, which is great. So we should just be stacking up a bunch of spikes. Which means we're going to be stacking up a bunch of heat. Which means we're going to be stacking up a bunch of cold. Which means we should be critting because this increases the crit chance. Which is now 12. Now a 16. And they're probably just going to die. Yeah. <laughs> Good game. All right. Sun armor. Let's get a mana orb in the situation. I need a lot more space. Oh, a pineapple. Hmm. Pineapple is good just in case we go against something that removes spikes. We can honestly just sell the spike shield if we decide to get the pineapple, I think. I didn't have to play. Sell spike shields, get the pineapple, get more space. Um, we can switch these two out, I believe. Um, we don't really need mana all too much. Not right now, at least. Not yet. I think I'm actually going to put you down here. That allows for more heat items on there. But now we have pineapple, which is nice. DJ lamp is nice. All of this is nice, actually. Yeah, let's go with this. I'm gonna buy stamina sack next round. Because we need a lot more space. Ooh, he's also got Dracunic Orb. So this Obsidian Dragon is going to be critting like crazy. He's also got Chili Goober. He's getting the upgrade, too. I see exactly the build that he's going for. 
The bad part is he's got Jakunic Orb removing our spikes. Unless we just use this, unless we just use the spikes before he removes it, right? Which is possible, which is kind of happening, which is great. Nice crits. Oh, you missed. Come on, you can't be doing that. Oh, you didn't crit. Come on, come on. We can do this. Come on. Come on. No, where's the crits? I mean, we only have 14 cold. A 28% chance to crit. And the last, like, five hits we didn't crit. Which is absurd. Honestly, getting another Jukuna Core might not be bad. Actually, might not be bad. I'm gonna take it. And I'll take the lump of coal. Another DJ lamp. I don't think I get another. I do want another DJ lamp, but I don't want it now. So I'm gonna pass on that. <gasps> An ice dragon. We definitely take the ice dragon. Definitely, 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 definitely take the ice dragon. Um. Definitely. Um, let's see. I kind of want to change this situation up over here a little bit more. Maybe do this instead. Move this over so I can put some more slots on this side. I think that's good. I kind of do want to have another activator on here as well, but I can't just move this up because then it's not touching the still goober. Unless I don't use this as an activator, which I don't know how good of a choice that would be, but I don't think it would be a good choice. So we're not going to do that, but we'll go with this. I'll probably have to buy this around after because I really don't know where to put it. Um, honestly, I could just switch this out. Or not. Um, yeah, I can. I can just do that. That works. That way it's touching something, right? All right. That works for me. And I guess we could just do that. <laughs> Because why not? There we go. Because why not? Okay. A big boy busted blade. Very dangerous. Very, very, very dangerous. Let's see what happens here. 42 crits are nasty, but that berserker mode is crazy. He's got double of armor. And that's, that broken busted blade is going to be just stupid good. Him being out of stamina is what? Okay, that's actually really good for us. Him, wow, him being out of stamina there and not being able to hit three times saved us so much. Okay, we got ice armor, which is actually really good. The more I, uh, the more ice we generate, the more crit this has, right? So what we're doing realistically is we're relying on the Jakunic orbs to crit early while we don't have our ice amount all too high. And then when these are all used up, then we're, we'll rely on the cold to increase our critical hit chance and critical damage. That's pretty much the plan. The only bad thing is we don't have space and, but we want both of those. Don't have space, but we want both of those. Unless we can make space. Which I guess could be possible for the ice armor at least. I mean, we could do something like this. That goes there. Ice armor will go in these three slots. Right? Uh, which means we will have to sell some heat to make that happen. So ice armor goes there. That goes there. Spikes, pineapple's gotta go somewhere. It's gotta go somewhere. And yeah, mana doesn't matter right now. So we could do something like this. You like the idea of this build? Me too! I was cooking it up in my head. I think the idea of this build is actually pretty awesome. I guess I could move this over here and just do that instead. That still works. And it's a little bit better. We'll go with this. 
You would still go friendly fire over to Cairo? I kind of like Cairo. Cairo's been on my mind lately. Okay, this is an interesting build. Going against a poison ivy. He's got Tuscan Poker, Bloodthorn, along with poison, uh, poison, poison dagger. Very interesting. What are we at? 11 cold, 26% crit chance. As long as that keeps on stacking up, we'll be fine. Critting for 50s. Honestly, I don't even think you need still Goober. Yeah, I don't think you need still Goober because we're at 16 to 20 damage here. But we're critting for like 50 damage because of the increase in critical damage. So this increases our crit chance and increases the damage we do per crit. So realistically, do we even need a Steel Goober? The only reason I got Steel Goober was to increase the damage that the Thorn Whip can do, which increases, you know, the more crit that it does. But since this already does plus eight damage per hit, and it's critting, and it has an increase in critical damage, do we need a Steel Goober? I don't know. Something tells me we really don't need the Steel Goober in this situation. Um, I'm gonna get Draconic Orb. Space. Because space is nice. Honestly, getting a Corrupted Hat could be nice. Just for the, uh, the reduction in healing. Because that's one build that could be a problem for us. Still, Goober gives the scaling. Yeah, but... We didn't really utilize the scaling. Like, if you're talking about, like, at the beginning of the game... We really didn't utilize the scaling. I don't think. We struggled to find a Goobert. <laughs> Funny enough. And then when we found it, it was like, okay, do we really need the Goobert at this point? I think I'm just going to sell one of the heats to get put a Corrupted Crystal on that. I still want this dragon. I know I've been saving it for a while. Okay. A little Poison Goobert Dark Saber action. With the Cursed Dagger. Okay. He's uh Yeah, he's definitely gonna be proccing his crown, I believe. Which could lead to being an issue for us. Look at that. 52, 39, 69. It's actually strong. Roll. Okay, we've got a Book of Ice, which means we're going to be utilizing our Mana Orb now. Uh, what does he use? Two Mana? Where are we putting this? Ear is not a bad spot, actually. That's three different activators. What does the Ice Armor do, actually? It generates Ice. It, every five seconds, it uses one Heat to inflict two Cold. That's the only reason I got it. Just because it's an infinite cold generator, you know what I mean? Plus, I guess, you know, the 45 armor and stuff, the 10 armor afterwards isn't bad. It could be used for a gen proc. That way you don't have to rely on the still Goobert giving you the armor, the infinite armor. You can rely on the ice armor giving you infinite armor if you wanted to go like a gen proccing route. But we're doing like 60 crit without gen proccing. Like imagine a gen proc on this. Crazy. Dragon would be crazy while it's getting buffed by still Goobert. Would have, I mean, yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah. That is true. I want all of these items. We just need the money. But yeah, we're buying this. Which this needs to go like here. Or at least be touching the frozen flame. Um, and I'm tempted to buy this guy to make that happen. What I also could do, I guess it would be rotating this. Nah, I'm gonna keep it like this, actually. Wait, well, if, uh... Could also, like, stand this up and do that. And I could also do this. I could also do this. Don't really have anywhere to put my bean ants, though. I 
I don't know if we really need the Beanans. We're only at a point nine. Even if we go against someone with a shield, it's like we don't have double weapons. So do you really need Beanans? I feel like we don't. I'm sell B Nance. And I think I'm gonna put you over there instead. That way it's another activator for the orb. Perfect. Ooh, ooh, a bloody goobert on a fancy fencing raper and a Fortuna's Grace? Plus piercing arrow? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. 37, 39, 48, 47s, 62, 70. It's not, it just keeps going up, up, up because we keep generating more and more cold because we keep generating more and more heat. Let's look at the cold generation here. Most of it came from Floors and Flame. 16 of it came from Floors and Flame. And because every seven heat we gain, we inflict two cold. So every two times this hits, we inflict two cold, basically. They're so slow. Yeah. They're mad slow. I want to put this here, bro. Give me space. Another one. Wow, I was really only looking for a space right there. That's kind of sucky in a way. Wait, what if I use this for debuffs instead? Because of the cold? Is that better? Or is it better to keep the 50% more damage? I actually don't know. I think we'll be fine. I mean, we get like a lot of armor anyways. Oh, look at that. Okay, insta proccing your crown. That's actually... I don't know if that's good for us. Or... No, I was gonna say that's actually good for us, but I actually don't know. Ooh, the blind, bro. The blind is bad. Our accuracy is a 50% right now. And this guy is trying his best. Sixty-nine crit, come on. If we can just like not miss. Oh no. Twenty percent accuracy, bro. Plus him having double shield. Draining our stamina. No. We need a blind cover? Yeah, we need, what, crown? And we have one right there, too. We need glowing crown. I'm gonna get you now. But yeah, we need glowing crown. I don't know if we'll manage to get one, but yeah. No, we want the dragon on the still goober, right? So we can't really... It's really not smart, huh? Um, I guess we can move you like this. That'll work. That way that has three stars. Um, still goober is touching the dragon as well. This works. Yeah, the only blind counter we can get is probably just glowing crown. Realistically. Okay, great sword. Resisting all of those cold. All that cold was just resisted. And deflected, which is nuts. He's going to be resisting so much cold from us. Damn. Berserker mode is going to go crazy, though. 
He's only got one collar. So we can survive his berserker mode. I think we win. Ouch. Has it been two seconds yet? Jesus Christ. Run out of stamina, will you? Okay, thank you. Berserker mode's over. Let's go. Come on, just a... F no, you didn't crit. No. Crit. Out of stamina? Come on. Let's go. Whew. That was scary. That was scary. A four second cooldown. I'm gonna get this. And this. Just because I see it. Another book of ice. I should probably get this book of ice, shouldn't I? I could sell this. We bought this on sale. We could just replace it with the book of ice. Unless I sell, what, four heat? The ice dragon's coming in clutch. It really is, just for the additional damage and stuff. Not using up stamina. I think I'd rather sell four heat. I wish I could put it on that star slot, but I don't think I can. Unless I moved everything up by one, which that is possible. We would start with less heat. Actually, no, it's not possible because then this will have to move down by one. And that's not happening. So we'll just keep it like this. This looks like the build, though. I still think getting Steel Goober is kind of pointless. I think a, uh, I think a Chili Goober would do better because the extra heat generation. Yeah, the extra heat generation I think would be better. Or focusing on jewels. I think this build would do really well with jewels. It's a really interesting build this guy's got. Well, he's in Ivy. He's got a lot of stamina. This looks like a spike build. It's got a 25% faster plus the 80% chance of heating health directly. He's got double shield. Is he getting that gin proc? Probably not. Doubt it. Interesting. Very interesting. I guess our shield kind of doesn't matter. Oh, we win though. We win. We have three Jakunic orbs. We're eating his spikes, which means his thorn whip isn't going to scale in damage at all. He'll put poison on us, but he's definitely not scaling poison. For sure not scaling his poison fast enough to kill us. So that's game. Yeah. Absolutely destroyed. Good game. This is dangerous, though. The 40% um, chance to re resist the debuff because of cold. It's pretty dangerous, but yeah. <laughs> he just got destroyed. Damage dealt. What? The Ice Dragon did 231 damage? Wow. I wasn't expecting it to do that much damage. I was not expecting it to do that much damage at all. I guess it's because at the beginning of the game, um, they just did the crits. Or something. I really was expecting Flame Wolf to do the most amount of da damage. Yep, 42 critical right there. And they probably crit a little bit more. Yep, 40. Oh, that's Flame Whip. There we go. 44 critical right there. All those crits at the beginning of the game with just a Flame Dragon. And Draconic Orb is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Really good game, though. That was really fun. Really good game.